years old, in for 2016 as a tour wild card, being injured in 2015, former extreme Verbier champion. So if she can win on the Bec de Ros, she can win anywhere. And uh, taking the more sun sun washed freestyle line with a beautiful air at the top, great execution. That's what the judges want to see. Yes, indeed. And Very Matilda fluid, getting his little spray to the uh, the guides. <laughs> Matilda finished second here in Chamonix in 2014. So, and I know she's very competitive. She wants to do better. She wants to take take home the silverware. Well, First place, ideally, getting into a position, getting into a section that could offer her that. Very technical area right there. Finishing her run. Ooh, that's going to be even a Wow! Yes! Yes, she's sticking it. Woo! That was a creative approach. We haven't seen any one of the guys going there. Finding the fresh snow. And now some glory turns all the way down. That snow down there is perfect. She'll be happy. No doubt. Lot and Rap. No, or no, sorry, no. Matilda <laughs> Rappaport <laughs> taking the top slot. <laughs> Spot, no doubt, off of Lot and Rap. Second rider down, you can already tell this is the score to beat. No doubt. Laying down the gauntlet is Matilda Rappaport. Well, Here we have her top air, no hesitation whatsoever. Landing gear, stuck it clean. You can see the indexes, everything green. And here, oh, she nearly got caught up Almost with that lost soft it, snow. But didn't. Well, <laughs> the Swedes were very impressive on our first stop in Andorra. <laughs> and Matilda Rappaport, there we go, 76.66 points into the top spot. A very impressive 